G'day guys, how are you? Andrew is cool here with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can log in to your VB application using uh, SQL database. Um, you can do it with SQL Server, you can do it with the database that's built in. And that's what I'll do it with today to show you guys. So if you don't have access, um, Microsoft Access that is, this is a perfect workaround. So yeah, let's get to it. So we'll go to a new project. And just Windows Forum, just going to call it um, SQL database login just like that okay once you get to this screen here the first thing we want to do is we're going to go to project and we're going to go to add new item and just like uh, my last video with the SQL database we can go to data service database I'm just going to call it database one and that should um, be in the solution explorer just there now you can double click on it and go to the left here and right click on tables and click on add new table okay the very first thing we am going to do just down here instead of calling it a table I'm just going to call it users so the table itself will be called users and not table so this is particularly good if you've got lots of tables that way you can name them Okay, so we've got our ID key now. I'm just going to leave that there as a default. Uh, of course, you could use a username as your um, primary key. However, just for this video, I'm not going to worry about that too much. So, username var characters of 50 and a password 50. And yeah, so now I click on update after you put in these details here and update database. And it should say hopefully here somewhere. It's uh, been successful. Oh no, there it is there, sorry. Great. So now what I can do is I can close out of that. And what I want to do now, kind of like in Access, is I want to go to my database now and I'm going to add in a couple of details. So um, let's show table data. And just in here now. So I'm just going to say my username is Andrew and my password is password123. And once you get the one there, it will automatically go there. So now I can just um, go to File and Save All. And there we have it. And I'm going to close out of that. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Project and go to Add New Item. And I'm going to go to Data Set this time. I'm just going to call it Data Set 1. It's not really important what you call it, I suppose. It's pretty much just a view. And um, what I'll do here is I'm just going to drag my Users table to the to here, the sort of white and light grey screen here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and go to add and I'm going to add a query. So use SQL statements, yes. Select which um, returns a single value, yes. And um, let's begin. So capitals select anything from and this part will be the users because this is the I suppose it's like the table. So users, so if yours up here is different, then obviously change it there. Users, um, and then sort of where, so which column, where, and I'm just going to say um, it'll be the username. Once again, if yours is different for the username, then you want to use this for that. And because we don't really know what it's going to be, we're just going to say equals a question mark and password equals a question mark okay now we'll go to query builder and if an error pops up sort of straight away you know you've done something wrong just go back over and double check everything um, but now just go to execute query just to make sure that everything looks like it's a-okay which it looks like it should be fine and you will this part here will pop up just press ok now go to next now just call it at the end I'll just put login because if you've got like a lot of queries, at least now you can keep track of them and go to finish. And if it's done correctly, it'll put your query just there. So once again, just save that just to be safe. Close out of it. Now the next thing you want to do is go to data set here and uh, just drag it across just like that. <clears throat> we don't really need this for anything. We basically just want to get these things here to go onto our form. So. Yeah, I'm just going to hide this. I don't recommend deleting it. It can be a pain to get back, but you can delete this table. There's no issue there. Now we're going to go to text box, and we're going to put a few text boxes there. 
sort of now you can design your forum so um, just so the guys at home can see Consalas, bold and we'll just go 18 nice and big just like that perfect and now I'm just going to get a label put a few labels there so the users can understand which ones which goes where and um, I'll call that Consalas as well bold 18 cool just like that label 1 can be our username so it's going to write user and we'll just write a pass just so it can save some time and now we want to get a button Oops, a button just like that just so we can log in now of course you could make like a register a new user if you wanted to um, you could just obviously have another button which can then creates a, a link to the table where you can add a new user and if that user already exists then it won't work so it can be done alright doesn't that look nice not really but anyways um, alright so now what we're going to do is we're just going to double click here on login and um, just leave this here uh, you probably could delete this one if you want that's just a save button since we're not saving anything it should be okay um, alright so now the next thing that we're going to do is we want to declare a few um, a few variables and and whatnot so the very first thing we're going to declare is <coughs> excuse me I'm just gonna write dim user as string dim pass as string and then we can say um, user equals textbox one dot text and pass equals textbox two dot text. Okay, cool. And now, once you, if this doesn't work, chances are you've forgotten to sort of put these adapters here and binding navigators and whatnot. So we can just say if me dot um, select your binding source. So mine was I think users. Yeah, users binding uh, binding table adapter. Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me dot um, find the login so there it is there and then put in brackets um, your variables from up here so just write in user and pass then and I'll just get a message box to show and uh, it's just gonna say hello world okay just like that and so we definitely know it's worked me dot back color equals color dot I don't know, blue, blue for go, oh, we should green then, green for go. Um, else, so else if it's something else, um, just write message box that show, um, good, by world, and me dot, back color equals color dot red. Perfect, so um, yeah, let's start up and see what happens. And there we have it, so here's our awesome form, so let's just leave it as blank and press login and it says goodbye world and it will probably change to red, yeah. <laughs> and so now if I put in my password and click on login, hello world. Uh, of course this is a basic um, designer, of course you can make this look a lot better than what I have, but um, yeah. Uh, I hope this has helped you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.